you see uh, the, the content-based education, you lock everything into the syllabus. The content is locked into the syllabus. But with OBE, the content is flexible. You are allowed to change the content as long as they can deliver the learning outcomes. So I see there is a lot of flexibility in terms of choosing of my content, uh, a lot of flexibility in terms of choosing the delivery method depending on the domain I am to develop, whether it's a cognitive domain, effective domain, or psychomotor domain. Outcome-based education does help in terms of uh, me personally to improve my teaching style as well as for me uh, to look at or realize whether my own student have already achieved or understand what has been uh, lectured uh, during, the, during the session. Yeah. One, one of the reasons for its popularity is um, it puts the learner in front. Because when you talk about outcomes at the national level, if you look at Malaysian Qualifications Framework for instance, it will start talking about at bachelor's level, the student or the learner should be able to uh, should be able to do this, should know this at this level of complexity. So the descriptions are about the learner. It's not about the teacher, the professors, or the educators, or about everything else. It's a learner. So one of the attraction is because it talks about the learner national level, program level, university level, and many other levels, right? Because all of this is focusing on learner. I think that, that is one of the uh, important um, attractions, okay? For all those in education who think the learner is actually the most important person in the classroom, 